Hey there, I'm here to show you how to save about 80% off of your cigarette costs if you are a smoker. Now, first of all, the disclaimer, I'm not here to promote smoking. Uh, I smoke, I enjoy it, I probably will try to quit at some point, um, and I, I'm not promoting smoking, but what I am doing is, because cigarettes are just so stinking expensive now, trying to save people who do have a smoking habit some money. You don't have to buy anything from me. That's not what this is about. I'm just going to show you right now how starting today you could save 80% off your smoking expenses. Ready? Here we go. Now let me explain it to, it, to you. I'm going to lay it out for you. It's quite simple. Um, basically, if you live in a place like where I live, uh, cigarettes are about $6 a pack. So that means every time you light up, you're spending 30 cents per cigarette to smoke. Now. Uh, you average that out. If you're smoking about a pack a day, $6 a day times, times 30 days for a month. That is uh, $180 a month is what you're spending um, or more, depending on where you live, to smoke. Now I'm going to show you how to save 80% off that. And here's what you need to do. Uh, you're going to buy a couple of things. They're very inexpensive. You don't buy them from me. You can buy them uh, from your local smoke shop. You can buy them probably from uh, your local chain store um, in many areas. And it's going to reduce the cost of your cigarettes from 30 cents per cigarette down to about 5 cents per cigarette. And that means you're going to reduce the cost of a pack down to a dollar and you're going to reduce your monthly smoking habit down to thirty dollars. So I'm gonna lay this out for you and I'm gonna ask that you uh, stay with me through the whole video to make sure you get it right, all right? Um, here you go. You're gonna to need to buy three things to do this. Uh, the first is gonna cost you five to six bucks. Generally that's uh, what it goes for and it looks like this. This is a um, it's kind of like a rolling machine but not exactly and I'll explain more about what this is in just a minute. Five or six bucks is a one-time expense. I didn't include that in the monthly average of what you're spending because it's a one-time expense so you're just gonna have to suck it up the five or six bucks. Second thing that you need is one of these. This is a box of cigarette tubes and here's what they look like. It looks like a cigarette with a filter attached but it's empty. There's nothing in there. And you can get a box like this. There's 200 of these in here and that's a carton of cigarettes. $2.18. Alright? Um, and the third thing is, yes, a bag of tobacco. Now this is a bag that, uh, let's see, I bought for $8.95 at a local smoke shop. Now here's the thing, here's the trick about buying this, and, and before you go, oh, I don't want to roll my own cigarettes, like I said, just stick with me for a minute. Um, <clears throat> here's a little trick I learned from the people that sell this stuff. Uh, this is the tobacco that you're going to roll your cigarettes out of, and as you can see right there, it says, if you can see that, it says pipe tobacco. That's right, but it's not the moist, sticky kind of pipe tobacco you think about when you think about smoking a pipe. This is basically the same thing you find in all cigarettes. It's just dry, granulated, you know, cut tobacco. Now, the secret is, if you go to the uh, smoke shop and you buy this same bag from this same manufacturer, only it has the word cigarette instead of pipe, you're going to pay about three times more for this bag. And the reason is because the government is taxing it at a much higher rate if it has the word cigarette on it. But I've been assured by the people at the smoke shop that this is the same tobacco, same manufacturer will sell this as well as other manufacturers with the word cigarette on it, charge you three times the amount. So, you know, uh, so that's what you need to do. Uh, this is, again, the same tobacco basically you're going to find in most brands of cigarettes with the possible exception that the major manufacturers haven't added uh, extra ingredients in this to keep you addicted to cigarettes. So it may be a little bit better for you. All right, now we're going to move on to uh, our next phase here. Okay, this is really easy. It doesn't take much time at all. Uh, what I usually do is put down a piece of paper, fold it in the middle, and I'll show you why. Um, or a tray, something like that you can use. You've got your little uh, machine here and basically what this does 
is you can see that little metal piece running down the middle here. Uh, you're going to load this up with tobacco and it's going to feed it right into the tube. And here's the way that happens. Okay, I'm going to take some tobacco here. And again, this is dry cigarette tobacco, even though it says pipe tobacco. This little uh, loader comes with this piece, which is a thing to stuff the tobacco down into the machine. So you just um, pack some of it down in there and you can gather it up. Pack some more down in there, just like that. Doesn't take too long at all. And um, one thing you want to do is make sure that you uh, evenly distribute it, especially around the ends of where the cigarette is going to begin and end. So you stuff it in there pretty good. And some people will load these twice. I just make sure that I've got enough tobacco in the first time so that I don't have to load it twice. But you can run it through twice on this machine. Um, so that's how that works. Now let me start again. First thing to do if you're going to do this properly, if you can see right on the end of this machine there's a little place to load this cigarette tube onto. So you just stick it on there. Again, you load your machine, try to do it evenly with tobacco, sprinkle it on in there and then uh, use this deal to pack it down. All right, so you know, it is pretty quick. I started over again so I could show you how to put the cigarette on there. Anyway, so it's there. Once you close it, it clamps down and locks onto the cigarette. Now, what you do next is, I want to make sure you can see this, you just pull this and you're pulling the cigarette across the tobacco you've loaded in there. And once you open it, your cigarette is loaded. You tamp it down a little and you've got a well-packed, fully loaded smoke. Nothing to it with a filter. So uh, it's that simple, really, as they say on all those late night commercials. I usually just sort of clean this out a little bit after I'm done. And the reason I fold the paper is because if there's some tobacco left there, I can just fold it, shove it back into the bag. Pretty simple stuff and a huge savings if you're a smoker. I want to see this procedure step by step, a little bit slower, and a few tips that I've picked up along the way on how to make this easier and uh, more efficient for you. Uh, just go to the website that I've got listed down below. Um, it has uh, those tips on there. It also has if you are decided you know, that you don't want to roll your own cigarettes, that you want to smoke the brand that you're used to. It has some links on where you can buy cartons of your favorite brands for about half of what you're paying for them now and have them shipped right to your door. So you're going to save money that way. Not as much as rolling your own, but it's definitely a saving. And again, I'm not trying to promote smoking here. What I'm trying to do is if you are a smoker, you haven't been able to quit yet, is to save you money. Because let's face it, the prices are ridiculous and they're that way for a reason. Uh, the government's not going to quit selling cigarettes anytime in the near future because they're making a lot of money off of uh, the taxes that they put on them. But, you know, I can say as a smoker myself, and I'm sure other smokers that are listening to this uh, can uh, agree, that it's not fun to be a smoker in today's society because the right-thinking mob in society that's decided what's best for all of us, and there are valid reasons as far as smoking is concerned, but they keep pushing smokers into a smaller and smaller corner and, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if uh, someday soon when you move into a neighborhood, if you're a smoker, you have to register like a sex offender. You know, it's, it's crazy. It's just not fun to be a smoker today. Junior, don't ever try smoking a cigarette. Why? Because if you do, you'll get very sick and then you'll drop dead. And then when you go to hell, not even any of the hell girls will kiss you because your mouth will taste like an ashtray. So check out the web page, get some tips, get some money-saving things that you can do. I also have uh, links up there if you're trying to quit that will help you do that. So check it out. There's the web page, and good luck.